Hey, what's going on guys? Zeb's here bringing you a another tutorial on Cinema 4D. Uh, a lot of you guys really like my Cinema 4D tutorial, so I decided why not make some more. So uh, today we're going to be making these, the tentacle effect. Uh, you may know of it, you may not. But uh, basically what it is, is it's a tentacle. Um, you can do a lot of cool little things with it. Um, you can make it wrap around like this logo, like I did. Um, and yeah, it, ha it has like a lot of potential, but it's kind of, I don't know. You can do a lot of stuff with it, basically. So I'll just be showing you guys how to do this today. Um, not like all of it, just this tentacle. And um, also, if you guys do want a tutorial on this, this render, leave a comment down below and I'll make it, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to delete everything. Delete. And then let's see here. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave this, whatever. So, to do this, what you're going to want to do is you want to get your free hand tool so you can generally make your... Whoops, my bad. I'm going to set my steam to uh, offline so people don't message me. So, um, so to do this, you want to get your free hand tool, which you can make uh, whatever spline you want, whatever shape, you can do whatever you like. Um, which is very good for the thing so then you can make your own tentacle shape so it could be its unique form So basically, I'm just gonna make a shape dude. Let me turn this up Do not disturb too. my bad guys. So uh, We're just gonna do a U because we're gonna have it have it wrap around this logo. So just do a like a, a Fairly big U like this uh, Or an upside down U, I guess you could say it doesn't really matter um, But once you've done this what you want to do is you want to get a sweep and then you just want to drag the spleen or the spline into the sweep. And then once you've done that, get a circle and drag the circle into the sweep. And what this will do, it will make a Reaper X effect, which I'm going to show you the difference between this tentacle effect and the Reaper X effect in a second. Why uh, the Reaper and this have their different abilities and why it's better for their certain things. So uh, once you've done this, uh, as you can see, it's obviously a little bit too big. So we're just going to click the circle. And then in the object to the radius, you can uh, edit the size of this. So I like to use 10. I feel 10 is a good thickness, but I mean, it really depends on the render. Um, but once you've done this, what you're gonna wanna do is go into sweep, or here, I'll show you this. If I click this and then I drag it up so you can see it, it's basically just like Reaper X. Um, so that's what makes Reaper X really good is it saves a lot of time and it has uh, different settings that this one couldn't do. But this one has its own unique settings too. So uh, once you do that, click your uh, sweep, go into details, and then down here on scale, you're, you can edit it by clicking these blue uh, these blue circles. And we're just gonna get this far right one and drag it all the way down. And what this will cause, it will make a, uh, like it kind of gets thicker and just gradually gets thinner. Now this will make the tentacle effect and uh, let's say you find it too thin, just go to your circle and then you can edit the size there, 20, and then so on. Uh, 50, obviously, it could work, it, it might be too big. Uh, we'll just do 30 for the sake of the tutorial. So that's basically how you do that. Um, I'm gonna show you how to position it in a logo. So first of all, just line up this axis by uh, this L thing right here, it's basically the axis on this left, click it and uh, it'll just stay blue highlighted, which means you can move the axes without it moving the uh, spline. So that's very useful to do this. And uh, what you wanna do is you wanna click F2 on your keyboard, and this will go to the overhead view so you can line it up perfectly, uh, make sure it's centered, things like that, which it is. So to get out of this, you could either click F1, or you could go into here, which will give you all the views, and then just use your middle mouse button on here. Um, so once we have it lined up, what we're going to do is we're just going to, um, whoops, no, not you, my bad. Well, we're going to use this tool right here, the rotation tool, and uh, click this, and what you, I'm going to line this back up, because uh, I forgot to save it. So, boom, it's lined up. So now that we've done that, um, check that, uh, now we can rotate this tool freely however we like now that it's lined up. Um, so now let's just um, let's rotate it about this way, rotate it like this, 
and we're just going to drag it behind the logo so something like this but it could be a little bit too big um, I, I feel like it's a little bit too big so I'm just gonna make this a tad bit smaller uh, maybe 20 20 might be good uh, yeah something like that and then I'm just gonna wrap this around it just a tad bit more and this will give you a generally a good little effect for it wrapping around you could do it however like you want and then just duplicate this again or you can make different spleens for each thing which I highly recommend which I'm not going to do for the sake of this tutorial um, but this is how you would make spleens wrapping around uh, your logo so I'm just going to do this and also for materials a um, little tip is don't use grunge um, I mean unless you can like execute it really well which I, is kind of difficult um, use a uh, a, your secondary material which uh, if you if you're new to my tutorials I, I like to refer to secondary materials such as, as uh, lavas uh, gel materials things like that that generally would contain color uh, primary materials I feel are grunge rust things like that that don't have really have a whole lot of color to it just basic uh, just basic colors such as like gray black white things like that and these are my secondary materials so just cubic seamless and then now maybe uh, we'll render it out it might take too long Green. oh yeah cuz I didn't finalize this material I need to work on it a little bit more um this is gonna be black but here actually let me just get a quick little material here um, this isn't gonna look good because I haven't messed with this whole lot this material with this so I'm just gonna show you the what it would look like rendered out with this tentacle uh, cubic seamless uh, take off the displacement for the sake of render times eh, darker oh yeah never mind it's fine don't worry about that so boom uh, we're just gonna let this render out really quick so I can show you basically what it would look like uh, once it's done rendering uh, and uh, I did this kind of sloppily sloppily is even a word but as you can see here I have it clipping through the logo uh, you don't want to do that but I did kind of rush through this just for the sake of the tutorial but this will be what it would look like um, you can add more detail by making smaller ones and just it wrapping around the logo, uh, like I did in my other one. So uh, I'll show you that. Oops, I just closed out of it. Open it, but generally that's what it would be like. Um, this type of tentacle has a lot of potential to it. Uh, so what I meant by this is these. I made look smaller ones and I just had it wrap around uh, the logo, but I didn't have it going smaller. Um, so yeah, um, I just did a little bit of smaller rebrex things here but I did combinations of both to make this render but uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys um, leave a comment down below if uh, if you want to request a tutorial that I should do because you guys are the viewers so I'll be teaching you guys stuff that hopefully you guys want and um, yeah so yeah just leave a comment down below what you would, what you would like to see and I also have a question on uh, I if you like to keep up to date on my store, what would you like me to release next? Uh, I like to release materials and packs a lot, but I want to release something new. Something that you usually don't find on someone's store. So, uh, leave a comment down below on that as well, if you just want to help me out. It's up to you. But, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Uh, I've been your host today, and I'm out. Peace.